Merry Christmas! The elves may currently be on a little break for the Christmas holidays here at the Goral Workshop, but we thought we'd put together a very special little Christmas episode for you, because let's face it, there's no tell on telly. Christmas jumpers became popular during the 1980s when TV presenters like Giles Brandreth and Timmy Mallet started wearing them during the holidays. It's a Christmas miracle. During the 90s and the 2000s, they became a bit more of a gag gift and soon fell out of favour. Then they sort of went through a resurgence of almost ironic wear in the 2010s, with online retailer Amazon reporting an increase in sales of over 600% in 2011. We've got our hands on this lovely little number, which does look to be a bit of a wool polyester blend, and we're going to see if we can't make some festive footwear. So as usual, we'll send this off to the elves in the workshop and see what they come back with. having a lovely Christmas day. Uh, looks like I've got a present under the tree. Wonder what it could be. Oh! Goral shoes. Just what I've always wanted. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> hey, they're all right, aren't they? I think we can safely say by now that fabric shoes work. We can shoe fabric. What have we done? We've done the, the polo, the old work jacket, not like the polyesters and the nylons, but you know, like the wools, the cottons. And I think this might have had a bit of a blend of poly in, but Christmas jumper shoes. Would have been really cool if they'd have had a, you know, like a really tacky novelty one that sang or made noises and <laughs> got that in. Every time you took a step, it played a little horrible bleep bleep midi sounding Christmas tune. I'm not going to waste your Christmas day talking about the, the difficulties that these had being made or the intricate details. It's a pretty simple construction. Notable things are eyelets, a little extra piece of leather over the laces. I'm not sure if they just didn't have any usable material, but a little white leather works. Um, obviously white soles, so it looks like you're walking on snow. It's a lovely choice. But as with some of the other tacky clothing items we've done, I think they're slightly more palatable than their original form. Not that I'm against a novelty Christmas sweater, but I think that you'd be more likely to catch me wearing these than the sweater that they were. I think we've actually managed to finish on a fairly classy note for Willet Shoe, uh, in what has been a very unclassy year at points. Massive thank you to the elves in the workshop, they really have put up with some nonsense from us. Um, we really appreciate it, because these videos are really fun, and we could not do them without the amazing skill of the craftspeople in our workshop. And nor could we make them without you guys watching, and it really does help if you like and subscribe. Um, that's all we want for Christmas. A little like and a subscribe, and I hope you'll make our Christmas dreams come true. We really do hope that you have a wonderful Christmas, and we'll see you with some more ridiculous ideas in 2022. Merry Christmas! <laughs>